Now, the American film director, William Friedkin, has died at the age of 87. He won the Best Director Oscar for the 1971 thriller The French Connection, but he was perhaps most well-known for directing the iconic and controversial horror film The Exorcist. The film, about a young girl possessed by a demonic entity, was infamously banned in many countries, but because one of the most, but became rather one of the most successful and influential films of all time. Well, let's speak now to Mike Munzer, host of the Evolution of Horror podcast. Mike, thanks so much uh, for joining us. I mean, he lived an extraordinary uh, life, and then these sorts of extraordinary films like The Exorcist. Yeah, I mean, incredible. It's actually 50 years old this year as well. I think he would have just missed his 50th anniversary. Um, and it's still just as powerful today as it ever was. This was a movie that absolutely terrified audiences. I don't think audiences had any idea what they were in for when they went to see it 50 years ago. And it still has that effect now. It's still one of the most powerful movies I think ever made. And that is testament to what an incredible artist and director he was. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you say, he really was in an influential part of uh, horror history. To this day, I'm sure directors use it as a sort of reference point. Definitely, yeah. And I think that's the thing is that, you know, certain movies from the 1970s, they feel like they were made in the 1970s. You know, things about them might have aged or dated. The Exorcist does not look dated. And I think that's because this man was a, a master of his craft. He had just finished making The French Connection, a Best Picture winner. So he was already so established. He knew what he was doing when he went into making this incredibly scary, powerful horror movie. And he took the, he took the subject matter seriously. I think that's the thing. And he took the story seriously and it shows. And it's, it's such an effective movie. Yeah. Why was it so controversial? Well, I think it was because it was dealing with the devil, you know, it was dealing with God and the devil. And I think at the time, you know, people just hadn't seen anything like this. And also the subject matter of the film is about a little girl who is possessed by the devil as well. So actually you're seeing quite horrific, scary things happening to a child in this movie. So again, I think that was just something that people just were not prepared for. And actually in, in a lot of ways, it's not doing anything hugely controversial. It's a classic tale of good versus evil, actually, when you look at it. But again, William Friedkin was such an incredible director and he directed these moments of horror with such power that it is absolutely terrifying to watch and it is still so effective. But yeah, people were, you know, couldn't handle it at the time. You know, you hear all these stories about people being sort of carried out of the cinema, you know, uh, people passing out, you know, people stood outside cinemas kind of picketing and sort of throwing holy water on audience <laughs> members that went in. It was one of these movies that, you know, the stories around it are almost as infamous as the film itself. Yeah, which is what I was going to get to. I mean, the behind the scenes is almost as legendary as, as the film itself, all the other stuff, the, the talk of the town it was at the time. Yeah, absolutely. There are some brilliant documentaries about it, actually, and, you know, that tell the stories of what went on behind the scenes. You know, things that, again, people couldn't explain. People mysteriously died on set. The, the whole set actually caught fire one night as well, and the whole set burned down. And again, these were strange coincidences, but I think it actually added to the myth, the kind of mythic nature of this film. People thought that the film itself was maybe evil, you know, because again, it was dealing with the devil and that kind of thing. So yeah, it became this kind of incredible thing that everyone knew about, even people that hadn't seen the movie knew about it. And I think that's still true to this day. You know, not everyone has seen The Exorcist. Some people are still too scared to see it, but everyone knows about that movie. Yeah, absolutely. I'm one of those people. Uh, thanks so much uh, very, uh, for joining us, Mike. Thank you.